good afternoon. I am literally sitting here waiting for a video to finish uploading so I can start the second video that needs to be uploaded before leaving to go check, no, to go cash, not cash, to, to go deposit Tyler's paycheck. Because for whatever reason, the farm doesn't have direct deposit. And the nearest branch is like a 40 minute drive. So I'm gonna take this lazy floof today with me because I'd rather take him with me than put him in the crate. So I need to kind of clear out the back of my car, which I don't think will take very long. And I think he'll fit in the back better than he does in the passenger seat. But I have a feeling he'll still try to be in the passenger seat, even though he doesn't fit very well. I don't really know what I had to say. I was just vlogging that I was waiting on the video to upload before going to the bank. And now I was taking the dog with me. Um, he's not freaking eating. He hasn't eaten since like the day before yesterday. And he was eating this food just fine at the beginning. And now it's like he's being picky and doesn't want to eat that food. And I really need to find a good veterinarian in the area so I can go get him a checkup. Um, that was part of the adoption contract is within the first 10 days, you're supposed to go get a regular vet checkup. I also need to email them to tell them that I changed his name and to give them an update that he is doing well. He's being lazy. Um, but he is eating marshmallows, but that's not very healthy. And I also have this suspicion that we bought him like one of those edible, like beef bones. They're not like an actual bone because like those can be bad for their teeth and can potentially break and like puncture their throat or whatever. Um, so we bought him like this edible beef, roast beef flavored like bone thing. And he ate that and then since then he hasn't eaten his food. So I also have a suspicion that he liked that thing and now doesn't want to eat his food even though it's also beef flavored. So he's being very stubborn and picky. Oh, that was deep. <laughs> Torture the poor dog. Oh. <laughs> you sick of your shit. <laughs> gotten out two nights in a row I had to chase him down I had to knock on somebody's door and ask if I could go in their backyard to get him and apparently he got sprayed by a skunk so this place smells pretty nice now we've got a coffee candle burning because sometimes coffee you know it's supposed to take the scent away from smells um but last night he got out because Tyler thought the door was shut and it wasn't and he took the chance to run and he ran. Last night he ran toward the freaking highway. That was not good. We got him. He came to us mostly. He came and licked my hand and then ran away and then came back again. Tonight I was walking him and his collar was too loose. Rookie mistake. Good job. Sheridan, you should have known. When you saw it slide the first time that it needed tightened, and I, the irony is I thought I tightened it earlier today, like before this walk, evidently not. So two <laughs> nights in a row, we've been, you on the verge of tears. You were crying tonight. Tonight I was sobbing, walking <laughs> through the neighborhood with my flashlight and it, a leash with an empty collar on it, which is probably the most sad thing <laughs> you can do. And I really thought he had, I thought tonight he was gone. Like literally we're surrounded by fields, neighborhoods and a highway. Like if he didn't go to the middle of the field, somebody would have snatched him up because he's a Husky. People freaking love Huskies. They would have just taken him. Or he looks like coyotes. Or he looks like coyotes. So they wouldn't love him and they'd shoot. try to shoot him. Or he would have got hit by a car. 
Those no, are nothing. the bad outcomes. But I found him. But somehow <laughs> he managed to get to the park back and back to the park in time because he wasn't even here this time. This yeah, time I was at he the was at the grocery out. store in town, like 15 minutes away. I did the drive in five this time. So, yeah. <laughs> Cause he gets a phone call and I'm like, how close are you being home? And he's like, why? And I'm like, the dog is out again. <laughs> I'm sure I, that's not how calm I was. No, you were like sobbing. Yeah, I was already on the verge of hysteria because I <laughs> didn't know where he went. Like he literally darted, like he was sprinting. I thought he was gone. Yeah, so that's been our week. The fact that yeah, we have a, a sprayed dog. skunk smelling dog put in his crate and he's probably gonna be in there for hours because i'm angry at him because literally what happened oh yeah save the ug rug <laughs> literally like what was i even saying you distracted me with the rug literally what happened you said um, yeah, but I don't remember what I was going to say and what I said before that. Oh, you said the dog is going to be in the crate for hours? Mm-hmm. I don't know where my train of thought was going Tomorrow with that. we're going to try a skunk, a uh, uh, remedy to get rid of skunk smell. Uh, we've heard cow manure works, and so we're going to go and dip them in the cow pond. I'm not very thrilled about that, because I don't think... First of all, that's gross. Second of all, his coat is so thick, though, that what, like... <sighs> Those have to rinse them really good and scrub them. I don't know. So tomorrow, we'll go get some dog shampoo. Yeah, he's over there licking himself because he probably got sprayed by skunk. He looks mighty proud of himself. I know he does. <laughs> he looks very content that he went on an adventure. No more. Mm, I don't remember what point I was going to make. It was a good one, I think, but I forgot what it was. And we have food over there. God, the skunk smell just got stronger because you took that thing off. We're closing the bedroom door tonight. We're leaving him out here. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm in my over my head with the husky. <laughs> You're the one who wanted him. I know. You cannot blame any of this on me. <laughs> this is why he was at the shelter so many times. Cause That's what I said. But he came back. Well, not this time. You got lucky. He came, he came when I told him. Kinda. Yeah, but we got lucky that you were in the right place. I would have been driving around all night. I know. Home. I was pissed. I was like, I'm just going to back the trailer and hope that he knows his way home. Maybe he'll show up. I was mad. I don't know. Whatever. Are you sassing me right now? Oh, woo, 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 woo. Oh, woo, 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 woo. Quit trying to eat my hand. Oh, woo, 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 woo. Oh, woo, 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 woo. Oh, woo, 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 woo. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Angie. Oh, that was that was adorable. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we are on the way to the beach today, but we're stopping to get coffee and we're gonna get Benji his first little puppuccino at the human bean. So exciting. Hello. Hello. Uh, mocha and latte. Yep. Okay. And a puppuccino. <laughs> 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 He's like, what are they doing in there? Yeah. That would be great. <laughs> um, I'd take a sleeve for mine, yeah. yeah. What? I know. Are you so excited? You've never had a puppuccino before. Yes. Oh, those are cute. Oh, they give you a thing. What's that? I don't know. Oh, I didn't realize you got a hot one this time. Mm -hmm. Oh my 
gosh. Benji, are you so excited? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Look, Benji. What's this? Ooh, do we love it? Oh boy. We created a monster. <laughs> Do you like that? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Is that yummy? Some whipped cream for you? That's adorable that they put a little treat in there. Yeah. I like human being this and freaking friendly. Yeah. I've wanted to stop there for a while. Actually, I have been through here one through that one once with the semi. Really? Without the trailer. Yeah. It's the semi itself. You got a coffee? Yeah. Nice. Is that when you were doing Christmas trees and stuff too? Yeah. Me and Jeremy did it with both of them. Yeah. You got a little sum sum on your mouth there, Ben. <laughs> he is like, I do not give a flying fuck. Hey, watch your language. <laughs> oh, I gotta get a picture. Shoot. Oh, he just knocked the tree out. He didn't want that at all. <laughs> he just wants to whip green. Oh, his eyes are so pretty. I can't. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't give him the shits. Hmm, let's just whip cream. It shouldn't be that bad. So, obviously we can have no, like, 100% certainty whether or not Benji has ever been to the beach before or not. But, I don't know. Do you feel like he'd been to a beach before? Not really. Not really. Um, he did not love the water. <laughs> I wish I would have got a video of that. Damn. It was so cute. He would go up to the tide, you know, and sniff the water because he'd be chasing birds or whatever. And then it would come in and he would like backpedal as fast as he could. He did not want anything to do with the water. We I did eventually get him into the water. I don't know if I got any footage or not. I feel like I took more photos than I did anything. So I'll insert a couple of the shots that I got here. Make and you sure can like also and you can also find myself on Instagram, the Catalan Coffee. And Minji has his own Instagram page now. So you can follow this cute boy right there. You can follow him at Boops from Benji on Instagram. So he's got his own handle if you want to go check him out. He's probably much cooler and cuter than I am. So I'd understand if you'd rather You're follow him. You too. Well, thanks. Um, but we had a, a really fun time. He, you know, ran around. We have a 50 foot ish um, lead for him so that he can have a little more running room without being off leash because he would probably Disappear. not come back <laughs> to us very quickly. Um, and I don't know, he enjoyed it. He tried to chase the birds. He wanted to play with all the other dogs and children. He seems to really like children. So that's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. And now we're just kind of going up the coast. Yeah, going up to the coast or more of the coast. Um, maybe going to an outlet mall. Are they allowed to walk outside? But then we're gonna go to Moe's seafood restaurant. Mm -hmm. I wish they had a patio. I feel bad leaving him in the car, especially now that it's getting a little bit warmer. Yeah, but it'll start cooling off here soon. Yeah, but. And then we're gonna try to catch the sunset in Lincoln City. It's so great living so close to the coast. Yes. Yeah, we're about an hour and a half or so ish an away. Hour. An hour. So. Actually, it's 45 minutes. I have less from actually our trailer to the beach versus from. Yeah, we went. We stopped to see his mom and get some stuff and drop some stuff off first. So we had a little bit of a longer route to get to the coast. But if we would have left from our new place, it would have been, like, would have been like five minutes. Yeah, it would have been under an hour, which was would be great. So next time. Um, but yeah, I think he really enjoyed it. <laughs> He's probably gonna be real tired yeah. today, and he wants to be on our laps when we're driving, which is not good. Well, I just wanted to update because I didn't think I got any footage while at the beach, unfortunately. You'll just have to check out all the photos that we snapped. Tyler got some really cute ones of Benji and I. Um, I don't think Tyler and I got any photos together, but... We have, we have still time. That's true. We got this... Oh, I haven't shot sunset photos in so long. That'll be so much fun. So 
That'll be so much fun. Um, wish I would have brought my bigger lens and whatnot, but I should be good on battery and stuff since I'm only using my camera for we photos. Got to see the Coast Guard fly by. Yeah, the Coast Guard helicopter. Shout out to the United States Coast Guard. Thank Shout you. out, <laughs> not sponsor. <laughs> Thank you for protecting our coast. Thank you. Yeah, I've never really had to worry about that really before, so I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Several people die in this ocean a year, so. Yeah, it's not really when you like go. I, there were a lot of surfers out today. Um, no, so you don't go out very far. <laughs> yeah, but you don't go too deep into there's, it. There's so. a lot of sneaker burns and stuff out there that will get you. Benji! Oh gosh. There's dogs over that way. Seals in the water. Birds in the water. did something again. Oh gosh. At least that leash stays on the ground pretty well. Come on, Benji. Because he likes to mark things. So first of all, today was an awesome day. Second of all, we got an Amazon order and it went right to our trailer step. Yeah. How freaking cool is that? Yep, we got these. We got LED lights to switch through all of our bulbs. Look! Oh, well, actually, it's hard to tell. Oh, <laughs> it just looks like light. But this one is super, as you can tell, this one's way yellow, like orange, co warm colored, and we got two cool toned, bright white LED lights. And our trailer is gonna be so bright and wonderful now, and I can film videos, and like all my vlogs are gonna look so much better. Also, check out this cute jacket I bought today. Um, it's Under Armour, you can see here. Got the band, sorry, he's being very sassy that we put him in his crate since we have some things to do. Doesn't have a hood, but it's got the collar and it's super cool material. It's gonna be great for walking the dog in the mornings and evenings. So I got that, it's super comfy. And it actually fits over other sweatshirts, which is a nice plus. So anyway, we're going to do the LED lights. We're going to shower. We're going to get ready for bed. Sassy baby.